Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today, you might be wondering, where am I? Where am I in this game? Well, I'm currently standing in front of bus station metro station, which is funny to say, but today I'm going to be showing you my metro services and commuter rail and bus services that you just saw. Anyways, let's get right into the video. So first of all, we're going to start with the first line. You can actually see um, there's some state, there's some station signs here for the bus routes, and there's actually a food hall here, which I find pretty cool. Um, there's a little food hall here, which is very nice. Sorry for the lag, my computer's so trash for some reason. And also down here. There, you can see this is a shopping centre, underground shopping centre, and I like this a lot. There's a McDonald's here. There's also um, there's an abandoned walkway there. There's a Greg's. There's an Asda, Ice, Iceland, and then there's a cinema. And then down here, we can actually access the ticket hall down here. If we go this way and here we are at the ticket hall there's actually a lift at this station so if we walk through here you see the teleport and now we're up here again let's go back down here there's a tick there's some ticket machines here and there's a few walkways this is the uh, walkway under the tracks that go to the other platforms so that this station is really nice because if you're you can see that is you jump up you can actually see some tracks and a station up there which we'll cover in when we get to that line um station you see that this train terminal is here the fun thing is that there's actually a loop after the station to make trains turn back you can see here you can see there's a train yeah um you can see this is the other platform that no one really uses this platform they just stay on the train which arrives at platform one you see also see there's some cctv cams and you see services to fen and east ridge square um okay let's hop on this train there's also this is also the only station to have platform edge doors which i find pretty cool and when the train actually departs you hear and hear some train sounds this is actually a 508 sound which it sounds pretty nice for this kind of train because obviously it's um it's a it's a shuttle which which is underground okay so here we are at east ridge square for transport museum the weird thing is there's no transport museum here and also there's no roof for some reason it's also like um at bus station you can see that if we go up here you can see the tracks down below and also half of this station is step free access because there's a ramp here but the other half isn't step free access because there isn't any room to put a ramp here and also we'll explain this in a minute but anyways let's get to the next metro line so you might be wondering, why are we back at bus station? Well, there isn't a line here, but next to it, there's Fenon High Street Station, which is somewhat based off Hoban Viaduct. And I really like this station because it's elevated above like the street and you can actually see the viaducts here. You can see like the poles that are holding it up. You can let's hop on this train here. This is called the viaduct line because it's obviously most of it's on the viaduct. Okay, let's wait for this train to depart. You can hear this is Jubilee line sound. Now we're approaching next station, which is City Fields. Oh, City Fields. City Fields is one of my favourite stations because it's obviously elevated. And it just, it feels really nice because it's an extremely busy station and it's on a viaduct. But 
There's like this footbridge arrangement yes. which links the two platforms and the entrance. You can see it. Let's go down to the entrance here. We go down here. You can see there's buses and to the city center. Here's the um, viaduct line city fields. You can see there's the St. James Road roundabout stop here. But anyways, let's just go to the next and final stop on this line. So let me just uh, get on. The there's a train there. Quick, quick, quick. No, we missed the train. Luckily, there's a train coming back. You can see it. Okay, let's hop on this train. Okay, let's hop on this here. And now let's go to our final stop on this line because that's going to be cool. Okay. There's actually Jubilee line sounds, which I might have already said. As you can see, there's a station there, but we'll talk about that after. And welcome to Fenon East Station. Which is the last stop on this line and you can actually see the loop here from platform and like i do there's buffers here but that's just for scenery there's also this foot crossing and you want to be really careful because trains are coming like every second and here's the station entrance on um like a new redevelopment because this area over here had a massive redevelopment so yeah but anyways, we are going to go to the next line. So now, our final line, other than the buses, we are going to now look at the only commuter line currently, which is the Great Central Railway. And it starts here at Eastfield Street, which connects with Eastridge Street. You can see there's, this, um, there's some ticket barriers here, so let me just touch in here. and just ignore that that's just how trains turn around because like this this wall here is literally on like the boundaries so just ignore that <laughs> but i really like this station this station has like um a glass roof and it's um it looks really nice i and also there's a mistake here there's it, this is called east road street over there but it's called eastfield street over there What's happening here? Might need to change that soon. It it looks really nice from like this view here. It just looks like really impressive. Um. So basically, how I made this, I used like different heights of um glass roofs to make this, and then I just like flattened it out, and then I just went back. It's pretty easy to do. It's just oh, never mind. We'll wait for another train here. Um. This is commuter style line, and um. There's actually one stop underground, so, so it's kind of a metro line, but it's not really because it's spaced like um, a commuter line. And also, you can see Network Central, intercity services towards Fen and East, which isn't here because there's no track. There's like there's some maintenance track here, but there's this barriered off platform. I'm not sure why this platform isn't barriered off, but well, there's bins here, so probably barry it off on the platform edge so people don't fall onto the maintenance tracks um anyways let's just wait for our train which should come in a second okay so here is our train so we're gonna just hop on this um and let's wait for this to depart so um basically this actually this line has five stops which is like crazy for this line you can actually hear there's the same 508 sounds you also see there's some track bed here and we're going in the tunnel now and we're now approaching the next station which is park lane oh good park lane oh man i love this station so much um why i like it so much because these like these are nsc colors like nsc branding colors and they actually light up which is really cool and also here's the sign it just feels really nice it feels like modern underground station just ignore that as part of the tunnel <laughs> and now here we're going up to the exit so here's the exit which it has commuter railways it has the nsc branding on the side 
and you can see it like corresponds with um, the other buildings here. Um, I really do like this station a lot. It also connects with the Eastwell bus station, which is just right next to it. And there's buses towards the main Benham bus station. There's also departure boards here and there's a waiting area here. But I have to, re I have to say I really like this station a lot. Okay, we're back with another train, and it's just we're going to the next stop now, which is above ground, but it is really cool. I really like it. So we're exiting the tunnel now, and there's actually a bridge here, which goes over a river, which we'll cover in a sec. Now approaching the next stop here, which is Sommerbury. So this station has a really nice shelter. And it has like a, it has a foot crossing, obviously, to like change between the platforms. <laughs> and it just it just feels really nice. There's trains to Eastfield Street, and there's trains towards um the other station. But anyways, here's the exit here and entrance, and you can actually see there's a level crossing here, which I ah I don't, no, thank you train. But anyways, here's a level crossing with some cars. It also, this also connects with um, Fennan High Street Station, which is just over there. You can actually see it from the station. Some other facts about this station is that the um, Great Central Railway um, Depot is here. It's located here. And also, there's a really nice old... Um, signal box here with some storage it's still in use but it, it just feels nice here's a train coming and arriving at Sommerbury and there's some iron work here there's some oil it's just it just feels nice with like this level crossing as well it just feels so nice I really like this station this might be my most favorite station in the entire park also, mentioning about the bridge over the river, you can actually see it has some really nice red iron work, like depicting Ste not Stepford County Rail, NSC colours, and you can actually see the river down here. This is the River Fennon, and um, it goes. It's actually the river goes through the entire city. It's just under a tunnel. Um, someone's graffitied here as well, which is annoying. But I really like this bridge. It just feels so nice. Like, it feels like like an Art Deco thing to have put on the railway. I really like it. Anyway, let's go to the next stop. Okay, we're now on a train to the next stop. You can actually see the signal box here. We're going round a bend. You can actually see um, Fenton High Street. Just a really nice view of Fenton High Street. You can also see City Fields and the bottom of um, bus station and now we're approaching the next stop which is Fennon East which obviously would connect to Fennon East on the other line which on the viaduct line but no it doesn't actually there's no connection between this station and the other station you actually the only like real connection that there is is just this like footpath which goes across both railways and can be a bit dangerous sometimes and you can see this is the entrance to the metro station but you have to walk along this there's no real connection no footbridge no underpass there may be an underpass soon around here so we can remove this because this this um foot crossing is a bit dangerous but um this station's kind of good because i really like this um shelter that it like covers the platforms because it just it's like black and white and also there's this plaza which connects to the next stop so we'll probably go to the next stop now and this is the final stop um which is you can actually see here which is mast road and this actually corresponds with the other end of the line which is um eastfield street this is actually based off eastfield street this station this is also very close to Fennon East. It was supposed to go further. It may extend further in the future. But it, we have to like add some redevelopment in this area. Because this area used to be like 
really popular but now it's not really anything there anymore it's just being demolished but anyways it like i like how it corresponds with like the other end of the line which gives like the line its own character really it's like um the old but london and birmingham railway that has the old euston arch and the birmingham arch um that's kind of what it was based off of but anyways anyways let's go to the buses now okay we're now next to fenon east station again and we're gonna catch a bus and this is the first stop st james's road roundabout which we'll wait for the next bus because they are pretty frequent and you can actually get a bus from here um to the bus station because this is route b there's route b a and c a goes from the bottom of the high street to the top of the high street um b goes from st james's road fen and east area to the bus station and then route c goes towards um park lane or eastwell this is st james's road like actual like the actual St. James's Road bus stop. But you can actually see, like, there's this, like, ball of, like, it's like a orb or something like that. And you can actually see there's a lot of stuff in this high street. There's actually the high street you can exit here for the carousel ride. And now we're approaching our final stop on this line. Well, bus route. It's, um, bus station itself, and then bus station. It has four, um, as four stands so really this um this line actually is the only line so b and c go to the bus station and then a goes to um near eastfield street to to the bottom of high street um, let me just correct that so here is route c which goes towards like the new redevelopment because this bus route is really new we actually have bus sounds which is pretty cool i really like it i really like it so much like this park is so cool okay so this this actually goes around the roundabout uh this is um eastwell circus and this is more like a shuttle but eh. and also we're now approaching the eastwell bus station which obviously is near park lane and this has some housing and then there's some other stuff as well there's also um a shortcut towards fenon high street here and it's not used that much actually but i still it's still like essential if you for example if you want to change from if you want going from Summerbury to Park Lane, you didn't have to actually go between them. You could actually take go one stop to Park Lane, then take the shortcut to Fenon High Street. Or either way, it's still pretty good if you want to like go between bus stations or Fenon High Street. But anyways, we're not going to like look at route a because it's pretty boring but anyways i hope you enjoyed this video and have a good day bye bye i'm not sure what i was like mooming about